So are you feeling the pinch? Are you feeling the grip of the whole recession? Oh wait, was I not supposed to say recession because we've had two quarters that are negative, but it does say it's recession, but the government says it's not. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, it cut, it's not a recession. All right, let's just face it folks, all right? They can call this thing whatever they wanna call it, all right? The fact of the matter is, there's too many people out here that are hurting, that are working and they're hurting than what really meets the eye. We're having to deal with this whole problem. The government created this whole problem. You know, they kept giving out all this money and everything else. And what do they think is gonna happen when you keep giving people money, 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 and nobody's going to work, work, work. But now people are getting back to work because the money's running out. But now with the high inflation, you know, food prices are through the roof. Meat prices have come down. Um, actually, my egg prices have stabilized a little bit. Uh, butter is still skyrocketing. And we have to deal with all this and we have to figure out how we're going to put food on the table and how we're going to make ends meet and make a stretch throughout the whole week when we get paid now we haven't even talked about having a roof over your head a shelter for you to live in now using the word shelter is the same as using the word home you have to have someplace safe to get you out of the elements for you and your family now that is also skyrocketing i don't know about in your area but in this area down here in florida you know rent prices have gone through the roof you know some people when their leases are up their, their price of rent's going up 300 bucks a month for a one and two bedroom apartment you know with the the interest rate going up again what is it going to be just shy of like seven percent on a new mortgage so your first time home buyers the dream of owning your own home is going to have to be a dream for right now unless you really want to take a chance of going into massive debt. You see, we've got all these snowballs and they're coming down a hill like, you know, like a bat out of hell. And um, <laughs> I tell you, folks, you know, it isn't looking too good here. The reason why this is all taking place is because of the situation that the government has put us in. Now, we have to try to figure out how to survive on a daily basis. We got to make sure that our kids have food, our kids have clothes, our kids have their school supplies and stuff because school's getting ready to start again. You know, we have all these different things. You know, Johnny may need a new backpack and Tina may need a, uh, a you know, a new pair of uh, tennis shoes or a new dress to go to school in or whatever it may be. All these things cost money and they're costing even more money. But then again, people are having to ask themselves, well do I buy school supplies and school clothes and everything else or do I put a roof over their head and food on the table why are we even having this conversation in this country hello now for a lot of you people that are watching this video and you live in other countries and everything else maybe this is nothing new for you but for us over here in America I guess you could say we we're kind of spoiled because of what we've had in the past that is now seems to be gone by the wayside. You see, the government is so worried about making sure that they can line their pockets with whatever money that all these top companies and corporations and everybody else wants to pitch in and pay them to make sure that whatever bill it is that they want passed gets passed. You know, it's almost like to the same extent of you know, we can't drill for our own oil here. You know, we have to buy it from another country. Explain that one. You know, I mean, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. We don't want to look like we're polluting the rest of the world. Let me do it for you. Okay. So what we do is we're not drilling it here. We're not refining it here. But what we're doing is we're buying it from another country. We bring it over here. We burn it. It's dirty. Nothing like what we produce. You know, we have hundreds of years of resources right here in this country, but we can't touch it. But yet, <laughs> our petroleum reserves and stuff, 
you know, which is supposed to be for us in bad times and all that kind of stuff. Well, we've been selling that off to the Chinese. Go figure, folks. I don't know what to tell you. I can't figure out either. I scratch my head and say, what? I don't know. All I know is, is there are so many things that are taking place right now. There are so many things that are not going the way they're supposed to be going. And the only thing that we can do is sit back, take a step back, take a deep breath and remind ourselves we're preppers. We're prepped. We're ready. We're trying to make sure that we are topping off our preps. We're trying to make sure that whatever we're doing makes sense. What money we're spending makes sense on a lot of the different products, either if they're survival products, if they're products for the home that can help us survive in a situation, you know, if it's uh, solar, if it's water containment, if it's battery banks, if it's generators, way to store gas, whatever it could be, extra food and all this type of stuff. We're spending our money wisely where we need and how, and this way we're filling the holes so that we can be ready. And that's what we have to do, folks, because there's nobody else here to help us. We have to help ourselves. So you put in the comments below, folks, and, and you know, a lot of things that you see going on around your area. You know, what's your uh, grocery store prices looking like? Are they bottoming out? Are they going down a little bit? Are they kind of holding steady? Uh, what are you seeing out there, folks? I mean, we all know what the gas and stuff is doing. You know, that goes down a few cents a day. Um, but, you know, at least it's going down, I guess you could say. But what's your food prices looking like? That's the question. Because that's where a lot of people are really getting hurt the most. Is when they go in the grocery store and if, say it's a family of four, you know, their food bill went up quite a bit. And... Um, so yeah, what are you guys seeing out there? We just have to make sure that we are doing the proper thing and that we're being prepped and we're being ready. And this way here, we can weather the storm because if we stick together as a community and we sit here and we plan and we see what's going on and we communicate through the community, we don't have to have, you know, all this other kind of stuff. You guys can communicate with me in several different ways. You can communicate with me through comments you can also communicate with me through my email and all that kind of stuff is all in the description below so question stands are you ready because i think the game is just getting going and we haven't made it to the seventh inning stretch yet but we got to be prepared so until next time folks i'm survival preparedness for beginners Thank you for joining me on this video today. Until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.